two months ago, I showed you a few ways to remove duplicate smart light devices showing up in the Google Home application. Well, I actually failed to show you the proper way to do this if you use SmartThings integrated into the Google Home application. And today we're gonna fix that. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So since the last video, I've still had the problem of the same device showing up two times in the Google Home application. So I've done a bunch of research and found out the proper way to fix this. So first, let's start off by talking about why this is happening. So let's say you've set up your Google Home. So in the Google Home application, you have your smart devices, and then you get something like the Wemo Smart Switch. So if you go into the Wemo application, you set up the smart switch, and then you go back to the Google Home application and you link those together, now all of your Wemo devices are going to show up in the Google Home application. So that's how you get the light in there in the first place. Now the second device came from Samsung SmartThings. So if you haven't heard, Samsung SmartThings is a hub that allows you to add different types of devices into your smart home. So then I take the Samsung SmartThings application and link it to the Google Home application, then it adds those devices into there. So SmartThings has this option where you can actually go and add new devices. And not only can you link things directly to your hub, but you can add other services that you're already using. So right here, you can see that you can add Wemo into SmartThings. And by doing this, you're able to have the outlet or the smart switch show up in the SmartThings application. Now, the reason that I would do this is because SmartThings offers some things that the Google Home application can do. So I wanted the option to have them in both applications. Now by linking my Wemo smart outlet to SmartThings and to the Google Home application, that is how it is showing two of those devices, but it's only one device. If I head into the Google Home application and I go to the room that this is in, which is in the master bedroom, here I have four lights. I open this up, tap on the lights, and now you can see I have a bedroom light, I have Brett's lamp and that's coming from SmartThings, I have Brett's lamp and that's coming from Wemo, and then I have the bathroom light. So here it's the same switch. So you can see this is the lamp I have right here. I turn off the switch and there it turns it off, but then I have this other one, turn it off, nothing happens, turn it back on and the switch turns on. So it makes it a little confusing that I have two of the same switches. And so today I'm gonna show you the proper way in removing these if you're using SmartThings within the Google Home application. Now first, let me show you how you can decide what light is from what. So if I just tap on Brett's lamp from SmartThings, and then I select the settings, down here you can see it says unlink from SmartThings, that's meaning it's linked to SmartThings, and then you have some other options down here, and it says name from SmartThings kids colored lamp. So actually when I set up this light, I had the wrong name and I called it the wrong thing, but in SmartThings, that is what this smart outlet is known as. So now if we go back and we go in here and I have Brett's lamp Wemo, go into the settings. Here you can see it says unlink Wemo and here it's called Wemo socket. I know that it's coming from Wemo and that is the name in the socket. So I don't want to unlink Wemo and I don't want to unlink SmartThings. So I actually had a comment about how to do this. So this comes from the last video from Ian W. Another option is in SmartThings app, go to settings, connected devices, Google and toggle off, allow Google Assistant to access all devices, scenes and routines. You can then select which individual items are still linked to Google Assistant through SmartThings. The same thing can be done with other connected services like the Amazon Assistant as well. Okay, so that was actually my answer, which I totally missed and honestly didn't know where that went um, because they changed how this is done. So now let me show you the proper way to do this. So now I'm going to head into SmartThings and I'm going to go to the menu here and I'm gonna select the settings at the top and now I'm going to go to connected services. When you open connected services, it will show you all the different things that are connected to SmartThings and then I'm going to go to Google or you could go to Amazon if that's the problem you're having. And here I saw the uninstall option and I saw turn this off and I was like, hey, I don't wanna do that. But let me show you how that works. You turn off, allow Google Assistant to access all devices, scenes and routines, just like Ian had said. And now it's giving us the option to choose exactly what we want to have show up in the Google Home application. So I'm gonna select switches and now I have the option to choose exactly what switch shows up in the Google Home application from SmartThings. 
If I didn't do this, it would duplicate a bunch of devices. So here, this basement entry, that's actually a Wemo switch. So I already have Wemo linked. I don't want this to be in both at the same time. All these other ones, these are only in SmartThings. So if I check them, that means they're also going to show up in the Google Home application. So all of these look good. I'm gonna scroll down, look through all of these. So here we have kids color lamp. So when I was going through the Google Home application, that's what it thought the SmartThings device was called, was kids color lamp. So that's the problem right there of why I'm having a duplicate show up. So I'm going to uncheck that. And here you can see I have kids lamp and kids room light. So those are the proper names. This was just the original name that I had created. And I can go down and then I can see that everything else looks good. Piano lamp is another Wemo device, so I don't wanna check that so it's not being duplicated. And then here I have Wemo porch light. And we're going to select done. And we also have the option to choose what sensors are going to show up and other devices here. So now that that is complete, we're going to select done. And now it's only going to have those that I have selected to show up within the Google Home application. So let's go and see if that fixed it. We're gonna head into the Google Home application. I'm going to sync my devices by opening Google Assistant. Okay, syncing devices for 14 providers. Now for the most part, it will automatically do that, but I like to do that just to kind of force it. Now here in the master bedroom, you can see that we only have three lights. Open this up and there we have the Brett's lamp from Wemo. And so I can turn that on and off. And now I can actually change the name because I don't need to specify where it's coming from. So there you go, we have Brett's lamp and now it is only showing up once within the Google Home application. Now I actually had one other light called kitchen table. Let's go into the kitchen and check on that one. So if I go into kitchen lights, here I have sink light, can lights, and table light. Well, I was having two table lights show up and when I attempted to go into the SmartThings application, I could not find the original name. I could not find table light. So I found that there was no way to remove it from the kitchen like I did Brett's lamp. So if you are finding that the light is not showing up for whatever reason in SmartThings, this is how you can go and kind of find that light and force it. So all we're going to do is go to the internet. Here I'm gonna open Chrome. And here you're going to head to graph.api.smartthings.com. So this website is the brains behind SmartThings. And there's a lot of things that you can do within here, but we're gonna go very simple and show you some of the things that you'll need to know if you're still seeing a ghost duplicate. So we're gonna select menu and I'm just going to log into my SmartThings account. You can use your Samsung account or maybe your SmartThings account. Now that I am logged in, I'm going to select the menu and I'm going to go down here under locations. And so locations, you'll have your one SmartThings hub right there under home. So I'm gonna tap home and it's gonna show you a bunch of information. And then down here, I'm going to select list devices. And in here, you're gonna see every device that is linked to your SmartThings hub. So I'm gonna scroll down and here we're going to find that I have the kids colored lamp right there. So if it wasn't there to check in the SmartThings application, I could open it up here and I could come down and delete it. Now this is kind of like a last resort. If you just can't figure out why there is a duplicate, definitely come in here and try that out. Now after we've removed the duplicate, I do wanna check one more thing. So I've actually had some issues with the Wemo devices and SmartThings. So I'm gonna head into the SmartThings application and here is the list of all of my devices. Now going through here, I didn't find any device called Kids Colored Lamp or Brett's Lamp. If I check in the kids room, that device isn't there. If I go into the bedroom or even down here at the very bottom, let's see, let's go into the bedroom and there there's no Brett's lamp or kids colored lamp. So I'm actually having an issue where it's not showing up in smart things. So I'm gonna head back to that graph.api settings and I'm going to find the kids colored lamp. I'm gonna open that up and I'm going to delete that device and then select delete. And now it has removed that device from the SmartThings history. So let's see if we can properly add that device back in. So I'm gonna to go to SmartThings, going to add a new device, devices, Wemo, and now I'm going to search for an outlet. And we're gonna see if it can find that device. And we're gonna add this into the bedroom, select next, and now it's gonna go through the process to search and find new devices and add them into the SmartThings application. And there you go, it found Brett's lamp. So we're gonna 
fix the name on that right there. I'm gonna select done. And now it has properly added Brett's lamp into the bedroom. So I'm gonna turn it on. There you can see it turns on and off. And then last, I'm gonna head back into the settings, go to connect services, go into Google, select switches, and there you can see Brett's lamp, and I'm gonna make sure that that is off so it's not duplicating it within the Google Home application. And that is how you properly remove duplicate Samsung SmartThings devices showing up in the Google Home application. If you have any further questions about this process, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll have a new video coming all about how to use Samsung SmartThings very soon. To see more about what your Google Assistant can do, make sure you check out the playlist over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.